I'm Ava and this is Alex. And if you don't know who Alex is, she is Emily's little sister. And if you don't know who Emily is, then maybe you're new to this channel. But basically I have a popular series on my channel called Emily and Friends, Emily being the main character and Alex being that younger sister that always seems to get on Emily's nerves, but they do love each other. I remember reviewing her in a super old video, one of my first videos, so she's been around for a while. And although I am very attached to this doll, I think it's finally time we have a new Alex. And there's a few different reasons why I decided this. First of all, she's not in the best condition. She's had these blue stained ears for so long, and there's no way of getting that off. I've tried acetone, I've tried any method I could think of to try to get rid of it, and that blue is on there permanently. Maybe you've never even noticed it, but it's bothered me for a long time. It was from some earrings that I had on her before that just stained her, and I just can't look at that any longer. Alex has very limited articulation. She just has the basic five points of articulation along with a joint in the knee. But compared to all of my other main dolls that I use, it's not that much articulation at all and I can't wait for her to get an upgrade. Now there was this doll and you'll know about this if you watched my video from a long time ago where I made a new family for Emily. And I was gonna give Alex this new body because there is articulation in the elbows as well, but I ended up breaking the neck peg and it just didn't end up very well, so I gave up on that. <laughs> Now, I could definitely have just bought this doll again and tried the head swap again, but honestly, it's still not that much articulation, not nearly as much as I would like. And one of the biggest struggles by far for Alex has been finding her clothes. If you've watched the Emily and Friends series for a while, or if you've paid attention to Alex at all, you'll notice that she basically cycles through the exact same, like, two outfits every single time, because almost none of my clothes actually fit her small body, and I just haven't had time to make clothes myself for her because it is a lot of work just for one singular doll to be able to wear. And so because of all of these different reasons, we're gonna have a new Alex doll. I randomly found this Barbie chef doll and I thought she resembled Alex pretty well. Let's take her out of the packaging though and get a closer look at her. With the doll out of the packaging, I actually think the chef outfit is like so cute. I did not get the doll based on any of like the clothing or the outfit or anything just on the actual doll, but I'm not gonna complain with this outfit. It's adorable, not gonna lie. And I love how she comes with the frying pan as well. Just a nice added bonus. Not to mention this majestic chef hat. <laughs> like, look at this thing. Okay, I am getting distracted here. But basically, this is the doll. Do we see the resemblance? Honestly, I feel like it's pretty accurate. The hair being the same color definitely helps. And I feel like even the face shape is pretty similar. Just this girl has a bit more of an actual chin and defined jawline because it is supposed to be Alex basically looking a little bit older. And I feel like that does it pretty well. Both of the dolls have green eyes, but hers are a bit darker, and I think I will change that later. But overall, I feel like it is a pretty good match for what a slightly older Alex would look like. And another thing I love is that this is a petite doll, so she's shorter than a regular or tall Barbie doll, and therefore closer in height to Alex, still quite taller, but still not as tall as Emily but it doesn't really matter for this doll because we'll be giving her a new body anyways. Let's also just take a moment to talk about these shoes. I actually really like them. <laughs> like they're just basic flat black shoes. They almost give off like Doc Martin vibes though. And I'm kind of loving it. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'm just obsessed with the chef look, if you couldn't already tell. <laughs> so originally, I bought this Barbie looks doll because she's petite. However, I did not realize that that skin tone match is completely off. But I'm still going to open her up nonetheless. And let's see just how off the skin tone match really is. So yeah, here's the Barbie looks doll. And here is the chef doll. And there is definitely a very noticeable difference in the skin tones there. So I realized that after I purchased her and she is definitely not gonna work as our body for the doll. And the reason I got this one is because she is a petite made to move Barbie and that is the type of body that I really do wanna give this Alex doll, but this one's just not gonna make the cut. So then I bought the Barbie the movie Gloria doll. 
and I'm hoping this one will be a closer match, hopefully a perfect match in skin tone. And most importantly, she is a petite made to move Barbie doll. Let's get her out of the box. So here's the Gloria doll. I don't know how I feel about her hair. Like, I don't know what's going on. There's like these two curls in the front, but then the back's just completely flat. <laughs> So that's looking a little strange, but we don't have to worry about her head anyways. We just gotta worry about if this skin tone is gonna match. Um, huh, I don't know. It might not be perfect, but it's definitely much better than the last doll, and we are limited with options here, so I think we might just have to make it work. So we know what comes next, head swap time. As per usual, I have my boiling hot water here, and I'm just gonna dip the doll's head into the water. I'm not really too worried about her hair because it needs to get fixed later anyways. So we're just gonna dip her head in and let that soak. And then we're just gonna rip her head off. Just like that. No! I got water all on my background. I hate that. I guess we're just gonna leave that for right now and worry about that later. Now it's Gloria's turn. I'm not really worried about her hair either because I'm not a huge fan of these weird curls anyways. So let's just dunk it all in. And then let's pop off her head too. Also, now that Gloria's hair has been like straightened out a bit, she's actually such a pretty doll and I really love this face mold. So I'm hoping that I'll actually get some use out of her still later and can actually do something with her. But as for now, we're gonna place the new Alex head on the new made to move petite body. Okay, now with the head on the body, I'd say the skin tone is actually pretty good. I would say the body has a bit more of a pinky tone to it, and the face is a bit more of a yellowy orange tone. But it's nothing super noticeable, and I think it'll have to do. Definitely let me know what you guys think, though. Is this good, or is it not good? I will point out that this doll does have a bit of a lighter skin tone than the original Alex, but it's nothing huge. This Alex might have just been out in the sun a bit more and got some more color. <laughs> now, this ponytail has got to go, so I'm going to take it out. And yeah, that is not a look right now. So I'm going to go rinse her hair under some boiling hot water to help everything lay down flat. Oh my gosh, also, look at these shoes that come with this Gloria doll. These are amazing. I just saw these now. And these are so unique and so beautiful. What the heck? Her hair has been rinsed. As for her hair, it's actually pretty even in the back. I'm not going to change it too much. Except for this one random long piece at the bottom there. There we go. I also find it a great coincidence that the original Alex and the new Alex have the exact same placement of the part in their hair. So it's just kind of a fun little bonus that makes them even more similar. Okay, now I'm actually going to get this doll in an outfit. This is the outfit I quickly chose out. Just a white tank top and these pink cargo pants. And it really is so nice now that it's not as difficult to find clothes for this doll. It is still a little bit challenging because she is a petite Barbie, but it is way easier than trying to find clothes for a Stacy-sized doll. And now Alex can have a much wider variety of clothes that she can wear. And let's also just talk about this articulation. I'm so happy that now we can actually have Alex do all different sorts of poses. And even just to be able to bend her arm is a big step up from this but there are still a few things we have to do with her before she's the official new alex doll if we compare the two faces i definitely need to give this doll some lighter green eyes and some lighter eyebrows and if you don't already know for my doll repaints i mix together a matte mod podge with acrylic paint and then I use a toothpick to paint it on That was the first time I ever tried actually fully covering the eyebrows in a different color and I wanted to try to make these a bit lighter but but they're not really at all close to the lightness of the old Alex's eyebrows but I don't want to make these super thick so I think I'm going to leave them like this and maybe just add on a couple little lighter eyebrow hairs. I don't love how they're kind of a little bit shiny from the Mod Podge but I think overall I do like them and I don't even know if there's a huge difference between them now and before but I did try to make them lighter. It just didn't really work out that well. Okay, I did paint on the eyebrow hairs, but you can barely even see them, which is kind of the point of it. Actually, I didn't want them to be like super noticeable. And now the last thing I want to do with her face is give her some blush. So I have my crusty, dusty palette over here. It's always a bit of a jump scare when we open it up. And I'm going to take some of the blush and just put it on the doll. So of course I put some on her cheeks and I'm also gonna put a little bit on her nose and chin. 
just to add a bit of color to her face. And something about adding some blush really does just bring the doll a bit more to life. And now, because old Alex has her ears pierced, I grab a thumbtack and poke it into the doll's ear, wiggle it around a bit, quickly take it out, and put in an earring. And yes, I'm just stealing old Alex's earrings for this. So here is the new Alex doll, and I'm actually so happy with how she turned out. And here she is again in comparison with the old Alex doll. And I really do see the similarity there. This doll just looks a little bit more grown up. And now I can do so much more with this doll, articulation and clothing wise. And I'm just really excited about her. Here she is next to Emily. She definitely is still a bit shorter. However, they are closer in height now than before. I will say that these two looked maybe a bit more actually related compared to these two, but I think it still works. Let me know what you guys think of the new Alex doll. Hopefully you're not too sad that we've moved on from old Alex, and hopefully you understand my reasoning for wanting a new Alex doll. I'm personally really excited about her. And even if she does look a little bit older here, I'm still gonna keep her same younger Alex voice, so she'll still be the exact same doll that we know in the series. I am curious though if you guys think I should give Alex a new room or a room makeover, or if we should keep it the way it is, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope you like the new Alex doll. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can become part of the hashtag DD squad. Which, by the way, if you're interested in purchasing some of my Barbie doll merch, check out the link in the description box below. There's also a discount down there where you can get 25% off. That's all for now. I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Bye!